Hey, hey, Genitos here, back with more Persona 4 Golden, picking up right where we left off last time, seeing if Yuki goes okay, because we saved her no, from her dungeon, tired. her palace. Um, how did you get in there? She doesn't, she didn't see the killer. We know she got pushed in. Do you remember anything? The other two I'm questions sorry, are stupid. I don't remember anything. What were you doing, well, though? no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. Exactly. Safety first. Health there's first. There's no mistake that Yukiko-san was um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. Yes, we deduced that last and time. I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. But Maybe why are the, the shadows Yukiko -san doing was that? Suppressing in this world took form in the TV. How did the shadows know? Like, hey, we're gonna make a TV show and entertain no, people. No, Teddy was saying something like that. Ah, it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. You spin me right kind of round, could baby, be doing right this. round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Let's call it a day. We did a lot, so y'all should chill. My understanding increased. Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yes, right now she needs to sleep. Really needs to get some rest. She needs to I'll pass out. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Yukiko-san must be exhausted. Mm -hmm. So help her home, Chia. Be a good pal. Be a we'll good talk buddy. about all this some more once she gets her strength back. So, yes, uh. I was able to rescue Yukiko so safely. What? <laughs> I said that wrong. But this case's mysteries have deepened even further. For now, you should wait for Yukiko to recover. I will. I want to hang out with friends. I want to build up social links. Come on. Let me get to the fun yeah. stuff. Um, hello. Hi. Hi there. Strange man. We got off work at the same Who time. Who are you? So giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Why swing by? Leave him to nice fend to for himself. You. I'm a dodgy. The guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. Uh, nice words to use in front of his six-year-old dark you harder, daughter. You know, dark. <laughs> A good one, sir. <laughs> uh. mm. Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? I am. They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Uh, that's a relief. I can't tell you that I know yeah, it already. Us on the force too. That would be weird. That would be suspicious and fishy. But this doesn't mean the case is closed, though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi, but she says she doesn't remember anything. I guess they had enough time to question it. her because we brought her home late afternoon and it's evening now. And we can't figure out her whereabouts. And police were probably around either. in the inn, like so they really saw Yuki going. Like, what happens? It's all pretty fishy, if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Why the heck would you say all this to civilians? Like people not on the police Stop force. Whatever, dumbass. Like, gosh. Sorry. You can talk about it with other people Ignore at it. work. It's just spouting some wild fantasy. Um. Yukiko isn't involved. No matter what happens. Yeah, I know. Anyway, don't mind him. He can be a real pain sometimes. Yeah, he seems like a not reliable guy. I'm hungry. Because from the police station, and right now, he's just You're been right. like, Hey, my theories, my too. conjecture, ooh, this must be going on. This is my thoughts. Like, <laughs> so you do have a softer <sighs> side around so Nanaka annoying. John, sir. Like, I would never tell Shut you any out. secrets because you just seem first. like you'll blab it all to other people. Hmm. First chance same. you get. Dinner promises to be lively for once. It didn't dinner get livelier because I moved in? Three is more company than two. Would I like to save? Oh yes, I didn't save in a while, huh? I don't want to do her dungeon again, so... Sabu! It's gonna be a while before you go recover, though, huh? Hello. Hi. I realize this is sudden, but... It is. How'd you get my I'm phone number? We met at the Velvet Room the other day. There is one important point I forgot to warn you about. So I thought it best Is this to about making more friends? Because I know I want to make more friends. Created through exactly. Social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. I so want to make friends! Time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. 
Do not hasten heedlessly through your days. And remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. What does that even Please remember mean? remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me. I want to get to making friends already. Just let me meet people. Do I join more clubs? Who's the first... First, excuse me. You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Give me the dating sim portion of the game. <gasps> there they are. Yo. Oh, what's up? You got morning practice? Let me eavesdrop on your conversation, dudes. You can hear the two talking. You know how guys can join the sports club starting today? I thought maybe if I ran around a little, that would be some good promotion. It is, because I want to join a club right now. Dude, if you run around in that, how are people going to know which club you're in? I didn't think about that. Haha, <laughs> that's classic you. I hope our club gets some fresh blood too. It gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get people to sign up? I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager though. Oh hey, let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. We're leaving that up to God now? Well, alright. But yeah, did you hear that rumor about the thing that lives at the shrine? I did, I wonder if it's true. Oh, that's the... The fox! Maybe I should visit the shrine too. Class is abandoned, waiting for Yukiko to recover. Uh, and now I can join a sports club. Blah blah blah, skip to skip. Um, where's the faculty office? Is it under first floor? All the, let's see. Nurse's office. Faculty, yeah. This is faculty office. Maybe you can inquire about joining a club. Give me a club! Eh? You want to join a club? Every, every, because I see his teeth like that, I think he talks in a doofy voice. Oh no! I know what you're really after. You're just trolling for girls, aren't you? Admit it! Listen up, a club is supposed to be. For some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. Just let me join a club. So, still want to join a club? Ask about multiple clubs. Might as well get it over with at once. Two cultural clubs at the same time? Trying to get the most out of your school life? Yes. We don't allow students to be in two sports clubs or two cultural clubs. One of each is permitted. Got it? Are we done here? Trying to break a youthful sweat, are you? You can either join the soccer club or the basketball club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left, go to the exit down the hall to see what a sports club means. By the way, clubs are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sports clubs don't meet on rainy days. Got it! So are we done here? Culture club. Might as well ask you now. I can't join culture clubs until April 25th. That's stupid. This will be a lesson that it's not so easy to meet girls now, is it? Why do you think culture clubs are just about girls? Sexist! Go home already. Are you staying at school to hang out with a girl later on or something? Are you just pushing all of your relationship hate onto us because you can't get a girl yourself? Dang, talk about low self-esteem. I don't understand how, like, people with low self-esteem or low confidence are the ones that can be so judgmental about other people. It's like, if you're not feeling good about yourself, I understand why you'd want to keep it quiet. But then why do you have to lash out at others who aren't antagonizing you? Just dang. I can. Okay, basketball or soccer? I played soccer for a tiny bit in third grade, and then I stopped because I don't have good endurance. I hate basketball because watching the NBA in the fourth quarter, everyone just keeps fouling each other, and it's like, please just play the game legit. So I'm gonna join the soccer club. Because at least soccer, everyone likes it universally. Basketball, not so much. Alright guys, listen up. You have a new teammate. You all know Jelly Toast, right? He's from the city, so I'm sure he's got some moves he's just waiting to show off. I'd say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Why? I just joined. You can hear the other players whispering. The city, huh? I bet he played for some big team back home. No, I did not. Shh, look at him, city slicker. Probably thinks he's better than us. No, I'm not. Yeah, we're just a bunch of hicks to him. Way to judge before you get to know me, dudes. Here, why don't you say something to the team? Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, they don't seem very friendly. Psh, jerks. Alright, let's start with a few laps. Jelly, why don't you just watch for today? 
I can run laps, dude. They're not that hard. We take the week be before exams off, too, so make sure you use that time to study hard, okay? I'm already a genius. I don't have to study. The other players, showing no interest in you, dispersed around the field. Hey, man. Hi. Thanks for talking to me. Don't let him get to you. Just play hard and have fun. I'm That's... Daisuke Nagase. That's what I want, man. Second year, same as you. Nice to meet you. Yo, Daisuke, you waiting for a special invitation? The only reason why I would think about joining the basketball club is because his dialogue is funnier than Daisuke's. And I think his character growth is more important than Daisuke's. But in my very first playthrough, I picked soccer club and I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know about these two boys. So whatever. Oh, hey, you're the transfer student, right? Join the soccer team, huh? Hmm. Good, because they need all the help they can get. Pretty weak team. Know what I'm saying? Wow. Way to make fun of your friend. Shut up, your team is just as lame. This big mouth here is Cole. He's the same grade as us, but he's on the basketball team. Ko Ichijo. Ichijo. Ichijo, dude. I'm the basketball team's up and coming MVP. Man, get your head out of clouds. Hey, and that's not all. I'm pretty smart too, so if you need any help on your tests, I'm your man. I'm a better transfer student. You smart guy? I'm a genius. Stop calling him that. The team's already giving him enough crap out of this. Ah, I can hear it now. Us country folk ain't gonna get shown up by no big shot city boy. Gotta love these guys. It's not funny, man. Well, as long as he's got some skills, they'll back off sooner or later. Played much soccer before? Uh... A little. Hmm. Honestly, it was a little in real life. And maybe this will take longer than I thought. I became friends with Koichijo of the basketball team and Daisuke Nagase of the soccer team. I accepted you regardless of the team's hostility. Feel a faint bo bond forming between the three of you. <gasps> Two friends in one? Amazing! Strength. Now I need to pick up a strength. Or kinda. Because I actually like these guys and I would like to meet them more on my off time. Again, I'm doing an honest social link playthrough, so I'm gonna meet who I want to meet first. And I'm gonna answer however I would answer them truthfully uh, in real life. So, Jelly, wait up for me so we can walk home together. Oh, friends, we're already walking home together. Alright, I'll go get changed. See you in a few. Finish right, watching practice. Home. And walked home with Ko and Desuke. Yay! More friends! Welcome home! <gasps> Thank you, Nanako! Seems Dojima is at home. Sneak out to town at night? Heck yeah! Talk to me! High school students have club activities. The teacher told us about them today. Middle schoolers also have club activities. Um. Can I meet anyone yet, or... Um... I don't think I can meet the fox at night, right? Um, might as well use this time to pick up a strength arcana. Huh? Okay, you must come here a lot, huh? What do you want this kind? A persona? A skill card? Doesn't matter to me. Excuse us, Marie, you must learn to restrain yourself. Oh, excuse us, huh? Marie, you must up. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Stupid, uptight, blonk head twerp? It's easy to read that long gibberish word if you're reading it in your head, but out loud it's kinda... <sighs> I apologize sincerely. She's far too unruly for me to handle. Uh... I feel for you. Honestly, I do. She seems <laughs> like a handful to deal with. You are quite right. However, this is all to help you on your journey. What do you mean? This room is inseparable from your fate. Nothing in this room happens without purpose. It seems that you and Marie had already met before you encountered her in this room. You did. Encountering one who is not of man and communicating with her, your fate has led you to this meeting. One who is not of man? What do you mean? Indeed. This room is the crossroads of your fates. You, the customer, and she who is not of man, who has wandered into this place. Where will this meeting lead? Excuse me for saying so, but we too are a bit interested in the outcome. There's a lot of talking this episode, my mouth is getting tired. Though she was in this land before you, in the end, Marie is not of man. In other words, her understanding of the world in which you live is incomplete. 
Therefore, I ask of you to please take her outside this room if you would. Okay, Marie? Mm. Ooh, whatever. whatever. Never mind. Oh, she's blushing. It seems Marie is interested in leaving this place. You should speak with her when you have the time. Out of time right now. Uh, check companion. But first, I need a strength. Strength. Zhao Gongen. Uh... I really... Yeah, might as well. I have all the money in the world, so... Um... Check on dwellers. Listen to Marie's request. Huh? Came. But you're late. Apparently my existence is wavering, so I can't go outside. I don't know what that means, though. Talk to me later, okay? Seems Marie can't go outside right now. You should come back later. Uh... A request. Oh, that's right. There's something that I would like to ask you, but... I think I can resist the temptation today. I think the time may come when we are linked, and I can feel better about asking you. Ha ha ha, I'll look forward to it. Because she's the Empress Arcana, and Marie is the... Aya? I think? Right? Um, so... Let me see if there was anyone else I could meet at night time. Who are the people I could meet at night? Uh, there's a bulletin board, look at job openings, no job openings. So I know through the job openings I can see, uh, I can see two. Oh hey, Yosuke. Yo! What are you doing out and about at this time of night? I shift in there early today so I was just wandering around. If you're bored, maybe you don't mind talking for a while. Oh, so... It can't progress to the next link during night time. Yosuke seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. Uh... See you later! I'll... I want to check what happens at the shrine first before I do anything. And Riverbank. I don't think... Check. Shrine's being building. Maybe I should pray. No, because that takes up time, doesn't it? Um... I don't think there's anyone at home... At home, haha. <laughs> uh, do I really want to meet with Oscar at night? No, I just want to go home and sleep. Hmm. Yeah, I'm done for now. I want to progress to the next day. Because I'm pretty sure the next time I meet with Yosuke, I'll just rank up anyway. Once I have jobs, I can leave. Yes, thank you. Uh, Futan has been prepared. I may have a dream. I dreamed that I was comforting a crying Yosuke. Your relationship with Yosuke has intensified. Not just developed, intensified. Dang. Oh, the old lady in black. Are you hungry or are you lonely? Of course, everyone is lonely. Morning. Morning. Did you see that just now? What a cute cat. What about the lady? <laughs> you could go with me gave it some food a while back, but it just won't take to me. Oh well, I'm more of a dog person anyway. Me too. I like you, Chia. I got a text from Yukiko. She said she's slowly getting better. Doesn't seem like there's any weird lasting effects, so that's good. I'm relieved to hear that. Honestly, I don't care when she could come to school. All we have to do is wait until she gets better. Let's hold off on the other stuff until then. Don't worry, I want to make friends. Are you even available today? Oh, who wants to meet me? Someone wants to meet me. We're gonna level up. I don't think it's sports club though, because it's not Thursday. Yosuke. What's up? You doing anything? Oh yeah, if you have some time after school, let's go get something to eat. Maybe I should hang out with him. Please cheer, please cheer, please cheer. Come up to me. Are you serious? I can't see you today. It has to be Yosuke. Alright, alright. Settle down now. Class is now in session. My name is Mr. Hosoi, and in this class, you'll be learning about contemporary writing. Let's all have fun. I hate writing. Least favorite subject. I know this is off topic, but what's the point of applying for colleges outside Edema? Why even bother? Nothing good ever comes out of competing with city folk. The countryside is all you need. That's a limited view to take on things. Well, since this is our very first lesson, why don't you show me how much you already know? Now then, how many parts are there in Murakami's The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle? Hana-chan, I'm calling on you. I get the feeling you're not much of a reader. I've never heard of this book. 
Hey, I read. I mean, not books, but... Jelly, come on, man. Help me out here. I don't... Three? You gave him the answer you think is correct. Very good. Either you're more literate than you look, or that was a lucky guess. That was a lucky guess. Wind Up Bird Chronicle was released as three separate stories. It's the eighth of its twelve published books. Its latest book, 1Q84, was published in 2009. It's the first printing sold out on the very first day of sale. 1Q84? Wait, this is a real book that they're talking about because my cousin bought that book. And of course, that's not counting all his short stories and essays, which I don't have time to get into right now. A lifesaver. You're welcome. Appreciate me! I was thinking of picking up that book, but I have a ton of other books that I need to finish reading, like the Zone of Enders. Not Zone of Enders, um, that's a freaking video game. The Enders game series. Um, Chie, I don't know where to meet Chie if she's not. Is she on the roof? Oh man, she's not here. Okay, well. I guess. I will hang out with Yosuke then. Because it's not like I hate him, but I don't really like Yo. him that much either. If you're free, wanna go somewhere? I do! Let's go! Let's go then! Shopping district. Steak croquet. Steak croquet! <laughs> Taking chunks of steak and croquet. Man, this really is a country, huh? Good. Oh, it's tough. Hmm? She called the stuff tender and juicy. What kind of teeth does she have? Maybe people don't like you because you keep comparing things to the city and saying bad things about it. You can hear the woman's conversation. He's from Junis, Yasugami High School, right? His classmate, Sato-san? Went out of business. Who's Sato? The shopping district could disappear, and yet... It's not his fault! He's just the son. He's a kid. Sorry about that, you know me. I'm infamous around here. Uh... It must be tough. Having people gossip about you. Don't gossip about other people, it's like, calm down. It's not really, it's mainly my parents, and I'm not personally involved. Anyways, there's nothing I can do about it. Shrug. I don't think there's anyone in Inaba who doesn't know me at school or around town. It's a really small town, I'm pretty sure everyone knows you. Not that I mind, but it sucks that I always gotta mind my manners. He smiles cheerfully. That was it? That's all our conversation? Oh well, rank up anyway. I'm not complaining. Yosuke Hanamura reached level 2! Truffery! Might as well learn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This croquet. I can't say croquette in English because I don't know how exactly it's pronounced. Is it croquette? Is it croquet? Because in Japanese and Korean it's croquet. So that's how I'm gonna say it from now on. Whatever. That's what I'm familiar with. I'm gonna have another. You want one too, right? Okay. You ate croquet with Yosuke until your stomach starts buzz, then went home. Good productive day. I ate a lot. Now when can I get a job? Welcome home. I'm back, Nanako! I went to the bookstore, but it was full of all these crazy books. It didn't have the manga I like to read. I know what you mean, man. Okay, well, I think that's enough for this time. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes short, and also, my throat is dying because I'm talking so long. <gasps> Oops, I'm banging into the mic. I'm not used to talking this long, like... Because usually all of the cutscenes, they're spoken by the in-game characters, but this is just all super long text. So I guess I'll get used to it later. Maybe next time I should have a bottle of water with me. But um, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.